Yeah, as Asian ones get here back with a video for you guys. Today was a big release. This game was delayed once or twice. And as you already seen the title, it's the Persona 5 Take Your Heart Premium Edition uh, for the PS4. So this was only available for Sony. Um, there is a PS3 version that you could get uh, if you haven't got yourself a PS4 yet, or if you want to save money, whichever. But obviously the Premium Edition was only available for the PS4. Um, so I've got it. Um, this one it didn't sell out as fast as most um, your uh, most uh, collector's editions. This one actually was actually just slowly, slowly ticking away. Um, but I knew they were gonna do a special edition um, right off the bat, so ended up picking it up as soon as the pre-order um, and picked it up today. Um, some people actually got it earlier. Um, they got it last week. I don't know if it was from Amazon or Best Buy or or um, even I, I don't think it's EB for sure. That, that I can tell you. But um, there was actually an issue on Amazon um, that they were canceling some of people's um, t uh, premium editions, and as an apology, they actually decided to give it, to, um, ship it out to them for free after all the fiasco and whatnot. So if you're one of the lucky few that went through that fiasco and got the game for free, congrats to you. But I mean, Amazon has great customer service. Um, always good to buy. I mean, their one day shipping is always pretty good too. So. Not bad. So, you know what, let's just get on with it. There was also a Steelbook Edition uh, for this, so or Launch Edition. Um, I'll just call it the Steelbook Edition. But the, uh, I believe both of the, both Steelbooks are the same, whether you get the Premium, the Take Your Heart Edition, or even the just the regular Launch Edition. So, there we have it. Looks really nice. Um, Judging from some photos that I saw, I thought it was a lot bigger. Um, I actually didn't see any unboxing. I just ha had a friend post it on Facebook. So I saw a gist of what it was, but... Yeah, uh, really nice. So, mature game. It is a Persona game, or Shin Megami Tensei, so there you go. Mature logo. Uh, if you've never played a Persona game or Shin Megami Tensei, I totally recommend it. Um, if you want a, a easier or uh, more updated version of, uh, of uh, the uh, follow-up for the Persona games, I recommend 3 or 4. Um, specifically, FES, um, Persona 3 FES, or the Persona 4 Golden, which was released for Vita. If you do not have a Vita... That is a reason to own a Vita. That game alone is worth getting a Vita for. Um, if not, you can always get it on PS2. Uh, both games were um, Persona 4 and Persona 3 were both on PS2, so you can get that if not. So here's the front. Got all the characters and I guess the boss and whatnot characters. S shows what you can get. You got your steel book, a nice collector box, some soundtrack CD. Oh, sorry, that's the art book. Sorry, that's the steel book, and it com comes with a game, of course. A I think. Chibi, Chibi Plush, I forgot who this character is. I, like I said, I haven't really looked at it. i just seen the one episode anime intro. That's about it. But I, even then, that was a while ago, and I don't remember the characters at all. And the school bag. The replica for the school bag. Um, I don't know. It, I don't know how they, how they fit it in there, but I'm pretty sure it was really tight-fitted or folded up. Uh, I'm hoping quality is up to par. And then just more artwork on the side. And then I showed that side already. And I think it's in a slip case as well, so nothing here, here. So I'll be right back, slice this open, so you guys can skip all that. Alright, see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, back, so here it is without the shrink wrap. And this is actually pretty tight, I'll be honest with you. Um, so bear with me, but give you guys another quick look. So all the contents in there. So like I said, you get the oh there we go, Morgana plush, the school bags, steel book with game, collector's box, uh, soundtrack CD, and the 64 hardcover art book. So really nice. Give you guys a quick look there. Very very good, nice close up. I heard this is one of the more darker ones as far as I've um, um, just heard rumors. So we'll see how it falls up because. It seems like a light going story at first, but once you get past the beginning part, it starts going really, really dark. That's what I like about these games. And I remember playing Persona 3, and um, not not spoilers, but to activate, obviously, their Persona, you know, um, they have this, like, kind of gun, gun imi uh, imitation um, that you shoot your head, like, basically, you, like, it blows your mind type of thing, and then it releases Persona, and my dad was like, doesn't that push towards, you know, uh, something bad? I'm like, I never really thought of it that way. But, yeah, 
after he said that, I'm like, oh yeah, right, that is true. But I'm like, oh, I hope no, I hope nobody ever did that. But anyway, um, I'm not gonna get into it. I, I don't want to say it. Okay, this is really nice. So yeah, all the characters here on the front, here on the front, and then uh, the both sides are all black, so it doesn't matter. But the front and in there, so it's a flip. So it's like a kind of like a chest type of thing. It is magnetic. There is a magnet. Um, top there says Persona. Take Your Heart Premium Edition. And then the back also has more artwork, which is really, really nice. Now, this is a collector's box. Something like this is what should be a collector's box. All right, so now let's get on with this. Ta-da! So everything in this looks like it's in a plastic, so I'll just take them all out one by one. Just give me a moment. Um, so we got the... We're gonna figure. I'm not gonna take it out, unfortunately. I don't. Um, if it was an actual figure, like you know, like the Sword Art Online one side, I might do it. But this is just a plush. I don't want it to get either dust or any kind of smell on it. So there's that. And figure plush. It's really tiny. Next up, right on top of everything, is the art book. So we'll actually take a look at that. And plastic, so get the front there and the back and the side. So 65 pages, I'm assuming it's your basic. Alright. So you got your your characters, character sheets, artwork and stuff. More characters. Wonder if there's any persona. Oh, okay, so there is some persona ones. What's up here? Morgana! It's a cat! So yeah, well, there, there's a persona right there. Um, uh, Igor, Igor, your, your main, one of the main uh, characters that uh, guides the protagonist through the game. And then I guess these are the two, new, the two other characters that are helping you um, and Igor uh, in the game. So yeah. And then we have... Some scenery, exterior, really nice. I like that new art book smell. It always smells really, really good. So, put that back in the bag really quick. Alrighty, so as soon as you take out that, um, the left, left side here, and then the right side of the art book, that's how everything is housed, okay? So we'll take that all one by one. Okay. And then after that, that's all empty. It's just a flap. There's a new flap too. And if there's a cat actually there, take your heart. <laughs> that's really cute. All right, that's kind of neat. So that's that. We have the Persona 5 Select Sound. Uh, is it Select Sound track? It says Sounds of Rebellion. Um, there are 19 tracks, but I don't think that's the full track. An RPG game usually uses more than that, if not double that amount. But we'll see. Uh, so you got your, the two uh, helpers there, and then Igor, so 19 songs, he has a quick look, I should open this up if I can, don't use your teeth, yeah, okay, seriously, how am I, don't want to damage the cover or anything, alrighty, did I get that, yeah, Alrighty, it's not coming off completely. That's sad. God damn it. So, uh, well, while I'm opening this, I actually went in to EB to pick mine up, and they haven't didn't even open the box yet. So I think I got mine first. So I got to pick which box I wanted because the person there that cut the box open went across, so she kind of sliced some of them. Um, but I hope it was just the plastic, but I ended up telling her, oh, can you just grab me that one, which is one closer to the flap, so she didn't end up cutting that. So, yeah. Alrighty. Disc is the same thing as the cover. As this. So, same thing. No different. And it is just a CD. It's not a Blu-ray, alright? So, if you don't have a Blu-ray, then yeah. 
Alrighty. Ooh, okay. This is the first time I've seen this. Usually when a game comes in a steelbook form, uh, in a premium edition, like something like this, um, they don't usually have a slip case or even um, a regular game case. It's very, it very depends on the on the publisher or the game company. Um, but this comes with a slip case. I Atlas, you guys did a wonderful job, mother, like literally fucking good job, like giving us a slip cover. This is really nice. Um, I don't like damaged steel books, as far as you know, um, and. When they just give us the bare steel book without any kind of protection or any kind of shrink wrap of whatnot, it feels cheap or used, in my opinion. But when you give me something like this that protects it somewhat, this, you guys did a good job. You guys did this perfectly, all right? So props to you guys. Give you guys a look at the slip case first. Okay. So slip case. Nothing on the front, just the Mature and the Atlas logo and the PS4 and then the back right there. And it does also say take your heart. I don't know if this is the exact same thing that you're going to see if you get the Steelbook edition only. So if it if it is, let me know in the comments so you can confirm it with people. So yeah. And then the Steelbook. Okay. So all the characters are in either black or silver. And then you've got your background is also black. And then the world is red. So that's really, really nice. Oh, God. This is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous Steelbook. Um, if you could just pose it just like this. That would look really, really nice. Alright, um, so we'll pop that open. No codes, just your, you know, info sheet type of thing, like safety, health and safety, seizures, stuff like that. Alrighty, and then we have the game disc right there. So I'll pop that open. Pop that, pop that out, sorry. Alrighty, just put that to the side first. That's the game disc, alright. There, really nice. And then we'll get take a look inside the steel book. Really nice inside arc. It's all of them in their like costumes when they um, go stealing and stuff. So the pretense for this one is um, they're stealing your over um, your over the top emotions type of thing. So your your um, let's say like your greed or something or your your uh, your sloth or something like that. Something similar to that in that sense. Um, and then yeah, so slightly a little different from previous games. Uh, but this is really neat. First one to transform like this anyway, so yeah. Alright, so now onto the main thing. The main thing of this, why it makes this collector edition or premium edition so big is the bag. Alright, so this is supposedly a replica of the Shujin um, Academy bag, the one uh, where the main character and his friends go to, and it's the bag like you know, you know the Japanese style. Like, you know, they hold it like, you know, kind of like a purse, but not really, like a really stylish, like cool way of doing, uh, of carrying it. So it took off the wrap. So you got the logo right there. And there you have it. That's it. It's not completely great quality, but I mean, okay, that, okay, that's me. Inside it's got like the, you know, color stitching and whatnot fabric. So that's really nice. Um, no other pockets, so this is what usually, I guess, Japanese students or Asian students, uh, students in Asia use as a bag, so you just like flip it back like that, and then you just like, you walk with it, that's it, right? Feels like a fashion show, you know? That, that type of thing, alright, let me lower this a little bit, so it's like a fashion bag type of thing, and then you just walk, whatever, so yeah, so really neat, um, not that I'll use it, <laughs> Because <laughs> it's just going to probably stay in there until maybe one day I forget about it. And then I just say, oh, maybe, oh, you know what, I, I feel like using it. I don't know. Or I'll give it to sister or whatever. But I'm definitely not using it right now. And I just like the logo. It looks really nice. I, I like stuff with, you know, emblems and stuff like that. So that's really neat. All right. So that is it for the Persona 5 uh, Collector's Edition or Premium Edition. Take your heart, Premium Edition uh, for the PS4. Um, if you like what you see, um, you know, comment below, uh, leave a like, um, subscribe even, uh, that'll help a lot. Um, who else is getting this game? Who is also interested in this game? Or if you were sitting on the fence, um, you know, like, why would you want to play it? I mean, like I said, you, this doesn't really follow the story completely. It's not like you have to play three, four, and five. 
um, to get everything. But it does follow a certain timeline. Like you got three, which was before four, uh, two, one or two years, no, one year exactly after. Um, and then for, and then this one, I believe is more than that. I think about five years worth, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll probably doing, be doing some kind of stream later today. Um, it's going to be probably under the same name. Um, it's going to be the same name under my channel, but it won't be on YouTube. I believe I'll be streaming it through Twitch. Um, so if you guys got time, drop by, leave a, you know, like, see if you would like the game. <laughs> Anyways, Asian One Skills out. Peace out, guys.